we set up a life for cure following the death of our son Brian who died incredibly suddenly at the age of 16 he was super sporty the healthiest lad you'll ever meet and um, we had no notice no chance to do anything about it so we very quickly realized that the only way to input our efforts would be to help find the vaccine for meningitis B which we've been working alongside uh, meningitis now for the last five years and raised £350,000. We were introduced to the project at the Imperial College to actually try and find the shortfall in the vaccine that has been um, created by um, the pharmaceutical companies so that all forms of meningitis B, all strains of meningitis B will be eradicated and amazing lads like Ryan will not lose their lives to meningitis. We, we visited uh, the labs last summer um, and had a great day and I wish I say I could understand it. Um, they were very kind and explained it um, to us. Um, as I say, we, we, we have a big promise to our supporters that we um, are in touch with the project and it's really important that we stay in touch and work with them and see the results and the benefits. As a scientist, sometimes it gets you know, very, very uh, engrossed in just the science, but then when you've met the, the person, it has a personal touch to it, and it's very inspiring. And in my own case as well, because apart from knowing Michelle's story, the patients that's coming as well, I know their story. So it, it adds that inspiration and gives me that drive to want to make sure that we get the right results. The aim of our research is to identify novel fact vaccine candidates that can give rise to an improved vaccine or even a new one altogether. And uh, we aim to do that by going to patients coming out of menstrual disease and tapping into their immune response. So uh, we will isolate some cells which produce antibodies from this patient and then clone the antibodies from those cells. And then the hope is that we can find the targets of those antibodies.